My name is Interflame Games, and welcome back to Wings of Liberty StarCraft 2. It is currently thunderstorming outside, so if you hear that in the background, I'm very sorry. Maybe it'll add some ambiance. But let us continue on. Now then, our last mission was the Devil's Playground, and I think now it's time to liberate a couple of artifacts. Let's work for Mobius Corp for a little bit. We need money, we need munitions, and I think Mobius has our back on both regards. That's not there's Mobius. That's not Mobius. This is Mobius. Protoss. No, they're not. Because they ain't. Alright. Mm -hmm. Easy money. Uh oh. Multiple. Uh, multiple hundred? Jeez. Well, boys, we got our mission. We gotta grab the artifact and be long gone by then. If I remember correctly, we haven't researched anything outside of barracks tech yet. We, don't, we haven't gotten anything in factory or starport yet. We gotta get this off. We gotta get this whole operation off the ground real quick. So, uh, sorry for not mentioning this earlier, but everybody, please buckle up, have a nice time, get nice and comfy. Nice and comfy. Want you guys to be happy watching this. You gotta make sure. Sorry, micromanaging, am I right? Where? Oh, there. Okay. Alright, we got three marines, two medics. About to get a next one. Nah, cowboy! Nice. What do you mean? <laughs> Best time there is! Yeah. Hey, he's got a point. Best time there is. Okay. Let's try and deny them high ground vision as much as we can. Try and keep as much, many people healthy as we can. Oh, we need more supply depots. All right. So please get nice and comfy. Get a drink. Get a get a hmm. Get a snack. Get a drink. Uh, and let's get this show on the road. We want big boys in the front, and let's move out. First off, we want to collect this Protoss relic. Second off, we want to clear this. Because that'll draw aggro from the nearby Protoss, which we can, you know, extinguish pretty easily. I hate how it gets rid of our high ground vision. It's not even high ground vision, it's <laughs> it's theoretical vision. You could be able to see this far, in theory. Now the Marauder upgrade, I'm kind of tempted to get, because it's not half bad. Like the, not the Marauder upgrade, the Marauder uh, Mercenary, I'm pretty tempted to get. Uh, did we lose a Marauder? Yeah, we lost a Marauder there. Let's try and replace him as soon as possible. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Try to replace that Marauder as soon as possible. We really don't want to be leaking firepower. At least not too, too much firepower early on. Okay. We're going to need to stem just to make sure that we're able to burn down all of those. We need marines 
We need Marines and we need Marauders. Uh, we don't need Fire Bats. Fire Bats are pretty much irrelevant, as well as Reapers. I don't think we have enough gas production to justify using Reapers here. Which is unfortunate. But, I mean, what are you gonna do? You know? Uh, we might want to get a third medic soon. But let's load this up with this and just two of these for now. We already have a small-ish standing army. Let's make our second bunker. Er, barracks. And once we get them, we'll start to move out. Start double mining gas. I've been cutting it kind of loose with gas mining because we don't have all that many things that require gas. So, I don't really think that... Come on. With any luck, we'll get this medic and these, what are they called, war dogs? War pigs, there we go. Hmm, same difference. Tom's wasted. I feel ya. Okay. Okay, they still got all those. Let's make sure we stemmed them down. We don't want to lose that many people. Okay. I'm well aware. Okay, deny them high ground vision, take out the Hydralisk. See, bing bada boom hardware, what did I tell you? Let's get this so that we can just make more marines, because more marines is going to be the thing that really sells us. Okay, and now we can actually move forward and take down that outpost. We need more marauders, more marines, more everything really, let's be honest. In addition to more everything, let's build a couple more of these. Go send this guy off. Actually, we could build a, another one with him over here. How are you guys doing? You guys doing good? Yeah, you are. Let me grab up. Because the thing is, the Marauders actually have a really long range. Way longer than Marines. So they can actually shoot these without any of these guys getting aggroed on them. So it's exactly what we're planning on doing. For now, let's just keep getting more. Greed is good as they say. Uh, to get... Oh god, what happened? What did you do? Oh, that's what you did. Really? There we go, okay. I was wondering how long that was going to take. Jeez. Okay. Heal them up, meds. For this Protoss research, we're just going to float the command center towards the end. And that's how we're going to get that. Checkpoint reached. Um, honestly, I think a standing army of 83 supply is well over enough. Um... How can we... Alright, I don't want to fight everybody at once. Okay, let's try to stem down these real quick. You know, it'd just be faster just to take down those. Okay. Lost a couple of boys, but it's alright. We still got a good standing army here. None of our meds went down. Let's get our second Protoss Reachers. There's a total of four of them out here. Ooh, yeah, no, those are scary. Okay. How are we doing as far as people go? Okay. We need you on repair. Uh, let's send everybody we got over to our entire standing army, seeing as how we're kind of good. How are they doing? Looks like we've, for now, made more progress on our base than they've made on theirs. The Zerg have, so that's good. So, now that we have this ball of boys, let's take out this. Okay. We might have enough to actually just take out the compound in general. I'm not too sure. It's been a long time since I've needed to play this mission. Stem them in. Try and 
Ooh, losing a lot of people, but I think our trades are going well. Give it one more stim. Okay, try and go to the corner here so that we don't need to deal with... Actually, can we just, like, move our way through here? We 100% can. That is a yes. Because I don't really necessarily think we need to take down the whole base. Let's just try and take this out. Try and take these out, maybe, I guess. Get the Protoss research. Okay, we can. Let's... O, lift, go, uh, ba -da -ba -da. okay, go here and drop. What is happening over here? Oh, okay. Okay, how are you guys doing? Not good. Okay. Okay, we got all the Protoss research. We also are pulling the boys. So let's pull the boys. And shift them with us. We don't want any... I mean, I guess we could have taken more time doing this, but... Eh. I don't know. This mission kind of overall seemed a little bit lackluster, I'm going to be 100% honest. Well, I mean, we still have to fight the... We still have one last fight. It's not over yet. we got to claim the artifact. Which means we got to fight these big boys out here. What the? Okay, one down. About to get a second down. Two down. And three down! Okay. Okay, that's it. No Zerg in sight. I don't see a problem in this. I love how the... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> this is so good. Carrick. I love how half of our SCVs are just still holding. Hit and run. Oh, we did in less than 15 minutes. How long did it take? Oh, <laughs> well, that was kind of... <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure, that works. Oh, what's this? Oh, God. Whoever they're fighting is kicking their ass. Oh, it's Erg. Hi there, purdy lady. <laughs> How's you do? Oh, it's Atakis. Yeah, that's right. You puffed that cigar. <laughs> Boop. Captain. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh. 
That's not great. That's a bit of a reaction. I don't think that's a good reaction. Fifteen minutes later. A hey, uh, Jimmy? Oh. That's what that was? Hacking? Yeah, hope that doesn't come back to bite us. 47, that's such an odd number. 47 minutes later. <gasps> Donnie Vermillion! Donnie Vermillion! Yeah, but killing her is a bit tough. Hey there, partner. What you got for me? Hammer Securities! They have 25% health plus 20% damage. They come in squads of two. Yeah, I'll buy that. Devil Dogs are not great, I'd say. I want to go to Armory because we got a bunch of cash. Marauder. We've looked over the Firebat last time. A little Marauder suit is modified from the CMC 660 Firebat suit. The soldier inside is very different. 47% of the Marauder operators have never been to jail, and only 23% have been accused of murder. <laughs> the Marauder's grenade auto launcher is stocked with component parts that allow it to quickly manufacture and load hundreds of standard Punisher grenades. So that's actually a really interesting point. This suit, it says that um, it's stocked with component parts that allow for quick manufacture, meaning that this is kind of like a walking factory. Like, they're building their grenades before they shoot them, which is honestly really interesting. Like, at least to me it is. That's really cool. Marauders get more life. This one, this... Upgrade is absolutely insane, but what do we got here? Increased missile turret life, and... Oh. Sort of like splash damage. Uh, I don't know about that. I would say this upgrade is way better than any other. Let's also get medic healing, because why not? Uh, how are we doing on research? Have we gotten to the next tier? We got four. Not yet. Let's... Well, Hanson has something to say. Interesting. Oh. Clearly not casualty enough. I understand. If you ever change your mind, I'm here. Aww, they're trying to be emotional support. Leave me alone. <laughs> Never talk to me again.
Interesting. But I'm more interested in this because I want to go straight for Protoss, and it gives us our first um, factory creature. The Breath of Creation. Interesting. Oh. I mean, sure, why not? Let's go to Belshir. Yeah. I don't much like fighting Protoss if I can avoid it. Not just you, Protoss. Fanatics, Kudatal Dari. Yeah, that's that name sounds familiar. Hmm. These Talgarim bring in their air power. They're gonna hammer us. Swan, get the Goliath schematics loaded at the factory. If their anti-air missiles are still any good, we might just pull this off. All right, cowboy. I'll get the Goliath schematics loaded so we can build more. Interesting. All right. Let's get to it. Well, we got our mission. We got what we need. We got what we need to do. We just gotta get in, get the towel. We just gotta get in, get that, uh, get that good old gas, and get out. Simple as pie. Am I right? Hey, and we already start with Goliaths. Does this require Goliaths? Or <laughs> does this does this require Goliaths? It probably does, but what I meant to say was just require a tech lab. Let's build one more. Let me just double check, make sure there's none just right. I just don't want to be. I just don't want to run into anyone right here immediately. Because if there's somebody like right here, I don't want to think that there's no one here, and then, you know. Okay. We gotta research. <laughs> no! Are mobilizing, sir. Looks like they're gonna go after our SCVs when we harvest the terrorism. That's not great. We only harvest one side at a time and run with a heavy escort. Well, all right, Matt, you you got it, but uh, right now we just gotta get our eco up online because our eco is sucky. Let's, I think we have enough to start harvesting a altar and altar, so. Let's have someone harvest a single altar for now. Uh, we shouldn't leave our base defenseless. I'm gonna start making a couple of marines just to defend the, just to get the home front situated, while we get our uh, first little batch of the good juice. Well, I mean, so far so good. Need a little bit more minerals, but other than that, so far so good. Haven't run into any uh, escorts. Alrighty then. Thank you, soldier. Oh, but they don't like that. Burn them down. Okay. Burned them down. Uh, could you repair our Goliath? And speak of repair, uh, start training up a couple of... I'm gonna want two or three. 
Okay, we got a single bio healer. Let's try to get our guys. Okay. Goliaths have amazing anti air, but uh, not the most amazing anti ground. We need more. We need you. Just start repairing these guys. And then we're going to have them harvest the Terrazine. We can make some. Some of those. I've already forgotten their name. I'm going to be 100% honest. Uh, War Pigs. War Pigs! Yeah! War Pigs. Upgrade complete. Second now. Yeah! Alright! Alright, we got up. Alright, we got the all clear. Upgrade complete. Let's get one more medic. That'll round out our army composition pretty nicely. Once you're done with that, okay. Booyah! Okay, start building that. Get over here. Yeah, see, they're already starting to mobilize a couple of boys out here. Let's just try and stem them down real quick, like. Uh-oh. This was not a good time to move out. Well, I guess it was a fine time to move out. And if they're just trying to... Let's see. Oh, uh, we got two guys who are injured. Uh, two Goliaths that are injured, that is. We want Marines to be the main tank. And these guys. I uh, just need a little bit more. Give me a little bit more. Yeah! Alright. Okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> I forgot you were here. Uh, you get over here and just start repairing them. You guys just hang out here, I guess. Uh, that's not the smartest way of going to it, so uh, whatever, I guess. It, <laughs> you do you, bro. <laughs> I mean, like, if you want to go that way, I'm not going to stop you, but, like, also, that's a dumb way of getting yourself there. How are we feeling as far as... We have a single Goliath that's hurt... Well, two Goliaths that are hurt, one that's being repaired. God, repair speed is so slow. Okay, alright, start gathering that Terrazine. Uh, we need more. Keep making SCVs. You... We need more gas. You keep making more marines. How are we doing out here as far as... Uh, let's see if we can't get Goliaths more towards the... Uh-oh. That's not good. Yeah, bro. Hey, man. What's going on? Oh, that's worse. It's very much worse. Oh, God. Okay, well, that fell flat on its head. Um, the good news is we didn't really lose any Goliaths. Okay, well, that fell flat on its head. Hey, buddy, congratulations, you're our new guinea pig. Uh, can I even make it out there? I'm not even going to try. We just need seven altars, which is not that many, but... Where's our one guy? Hey, you. We need you to collect this. You guys don't. Please stop. <sighs> don't you just hate it when your units are almost... Your units are, like, borderline <laughs> suicidal as they careen themselves into the nearest pr uh, Protoss field cannon or whatever. I hate that. <laughs> Again, mainly we just want a big bio army. We just need a big... You could say we need a bio mass. Yeah, no, that was horrible. You're fine. See, you're fine. Uh, Do we have any idea where the rest of those Protoss relics are? Or are we just going to have to go scouting around? 
it'd suck if we need to go scout around, but, like, if there's nothing we can do about it, and say la vie, I'm not going to complain. Again, we just... What is the problem? No, they're not. You're lying. Yeah, thanks, Tosh. I literally have n All right. Well, we're just going to keep building up our forces at home for a good little minute here. Because we, A, I don't want to have another incident like the other one where we just get completely overwhelmed at home. That's the... That's A. Let's get some... Let's get a medic. Let's get a couple of medics for this uh, bio ball that we got going on. And, I mean, we could get... Let's get two more SCVs. Uh, what's going on? Um, oh my god, okay. You're fine, you're fine-ish. Okay, it looks like our Goliaths didn't really take too much damage. But they have sustained some damage, so... It's probably fine, it's fine. Hey, bro, what's up? Okay. Okay, now we can actually start pushing out with a bigger force. So, I mean, let's do that. Let's push out with a bigger force. Stem them in. I don't know if we can necessarily get all the way out there, or second off how quickly we can get out there. Let's quickly try and get infrastructure up there, though. You get up here. I want a barracks up here, too, because we now... Now we need to defend two home fronts, not just... Not just the one, but the one up there, too. Got a couple of hammers coming in. Okay. Let's try and make a beeline over... Oh, God. How far away is this one? Oh, I already sealed it. Well, that's fine. Okay. Stem, get him in. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a Colossus. Okay, Colossus... Down, it's fine. I on it. Okay, I see that it looks like they're going for this altar down here, I think. Or they're just, you know, gonna dive into my bio ball. That's fine. Hey, bro, whatever floats a year boat. They might have actually been coming for my base, now that I think about it. Maybe. I guess we'll never know, because they're all dead. Just get a couple of these going. I would say that there's not necessarily a huge rush to try and burn down as many things here as possible. And try not to lose too many. Oh god. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Alright, yep, that was good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, please stop. Okay. The reason I'm not making any conventional marauders is mainly for the fact that I don't really think they would help too much in this situation. You know what I mean? Oh my god, okay. All of you come over here. We're just gonna have a big old ball of people out here. Uh, oh, we also have an SCV, thank goodness. Okay, SCV. Start getting that. Everybody else, just kind of defend here. We're gonna need to nab the rest of that Protoss research at some point. I figure that is a problem for future me. Which, you know, is a great way of procrastinating. You know, a very... A, uh, 
uh, so easily. <laughs> I love how the Marine was just like, yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> I got this, bro. Don't worry. Don't worry, man. I got this. <laughs> All right, all right, young hero. How did you guys get over here? Why didn't you guys aggro on me at all? Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna question it. Why looked lift? But da I know words. You know, some people tell me that I don't know words, and to those people, I tell them no. I know words. Okay. I still have no idea where... Oh my god. Okay. Get it down, get it down. That was a lot of damage. That was too much damage. Just honestly. Why is it getting so dark? Is it turning to nighttime? What's going on? Why are we going into dark mode, guys? What happened? And why, why am I trying, why is my screen trying to make me kiss my bunker? I don't understand. Oh my god, the Teldarim have so much power. <laughs> They're messing with my in-game settings, guys. I'm scared. <laughs> nice. Again, as long as we just have a big bio ball, we don't really need to worry all that much about our goliaths taking all that much damage because we just stem in the marines. And the uh, marines are just faster than the goliaths are when stemmed, so... Hey, I found an artifact! All that's left is to take it, so we're just gonna bum rush. Get it! Get it! Oh god. Oh, uh, bye. Okay, that's good. Oh my god, you're going nuts. Okay, uh, 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 alright. Everybody, clump up, clump up. Oh god, I'm lagging a little bit, so... This is actually getting really hard to try and micro. Okay, just try and stop him from... Okay, okay. We stopped them from doing the thing, and I found the last Protoss research. It's here. Okay, cool! Alright. Can you even get out of there? Oh, yes, you can. I guess your emotional support? <laughs> I don't know what to do with you. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sup, bro? <laughs> I don't actually know how powerful any of these guys are. Well, no, no, I meant like the, the Taldarim. I don't know how powerful the Taldarim are supposed to be, but... Oh, wow. But in this, they've honestly been a pretty big pushover. Oh. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen there, bud. No offense, but Sir, our SCVs are getting hammered out there. Uh just that one. I mean, that's Carl. I don't really like Carl anyway. Carl was really mean to me. Oh. Because <laughs> I marked three medics into their death. Yeah. <laughs> that, that those two void rays <laughs> really hated my medics. I really hated my medics. But, we got the money and we got all our re relics. So, that is good. Ooh. Shipboard time. I enjoy working with... Him. <laughs> hmm? Okay, and? 
We are called Spectres. Next generation ghosts. Cool. Why does it matter? see what the big problem is there i mean so what if he's a uh, souped up i mean what if he's a terrorin uh terrazine addi addicted ghost i mean hey we got some really cool new guys but donnie vermilion oh my god oh my god that's horrible We got what? That hmm. Okay, now that that seems like Tosh, buddy. You got anything to say about that one? No. All right, Tosh. Toshy boy. Ooh. Ooh, Protoss tank. What do we got? The crystal is growing, and it appears to have some sort of... Er, it appears to have something, some sort of antimatter? Gravitational anomaly, non-standard phenomenon hovering over it. Now I'm convinced that the crystal is drawing power from the ship, but in a way so subtle as to be undetectable. It is non-organic, but has a molecular structure as diverse and complex as any organisms. It's developed an intricate matrix that makes it tough and surprisingly flexible. An ally based on this crystal would have an impressive damage mitigation of structure of this, mi of this matrix. Also just suggests some sort of energy storage system. This might, there might be something to this. The Protoss are so far beyond us. We must seem so... Eh, I'm gonna skip that. <laughs> it's probably like Amoebud or Amiibo. I don't know. So let's see. Weapon upgrades in the armory and engineering bay increase attack speed by 5% in addition to increasing damage. That seems good. Although increasing... Okay, in the past, I have always increased life because I enjoy life expectancy. But I can see how this is just kind of better. <laughs> like, it took me a while to figure out that that was just better. A long while. So, Goliaths. Alright, Goliaths can file both ugh, fire both weapons simultaneously. And we have something to give them a stupid amount of range. Honestly, I like giving them a stupid amount of range. That seems really helpful, actually. Let's go back to Cantina and see how much their, uh... Yeah. For the right price. Oh, wow, perfect money! Personally, Goliaths are one of my favorite, um... Favorite units in StarCraft. Like, lore, uh, games, all of it. Just, I, I love them. Interesting. Well, it shouldn't be that hard. We don't have anything for more Protoss research, sadly. But, eh, what you gonna do? Oh, God. Burn it? I uh, found him. 
those things are infested refugees? This is a nightmare. Yeah, this ain't good at all. It looks like they burrow underground by day and emerge only at night. The virus must make them vulnerable to the high UV output of Meinhof Star. Interesting. Then we'll hit the infested buildings by day and protect our base at night. Don't worry, Doc. We'll contain this thing. Interesting. Okay. Current mission outbreak. Okay. First things first. Want a little bit of gas, a little bit of minerals. Just start making a little bit of everything. We got a sensor tower. Sadly, I don't think sensor towers... Uh, I'm pretty sure... I'm like 99% sure that sensor towers are not something that you are... That you unlock throughout the campaign to like build and stuff. So, it's entirely decorational, sadly. Come on, Tigers, don't call them dirt farmers. They don't farm dirt, they farm... You know, I actually don't know what they farm. If you guys know what the, what the colonists, like the outlying colonists, actually do farm... I mean, obviously this is like energy. If they're just like mining operations, that would make sense, actually. It's nighttime. Oh, okay. Alright, let's just make a, like, defensive kind of barricade. Just have everybody stick hold position. Stick him here and then hold position. Just because it's night doesn't mean we gotta stop production of any kind. Just keep building. Looks like here, huh, here they come. We could probably make bunkers, but I'm not 100% sure how effective bunkers would be. You know? Oh god, that's a prospect. Well, so far, our barricade of bodies is working. I don't think a single infected has made contact yet, and if they have, I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, shoot. These guys have a lot more range than I thought they would. Uh, I guess make more of these out here. More Marines. Uh, v, we need a factory. Pronto. Let's just get these guys about there. That's good. We don't want them far enough out that they draw aggro. Ooh, this is a precarious situation. I think we're gonna be fine. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Alright. Yeah, that's a lot of boys dead. Uh, hi? Oh, okay. <laughs> hey! They mentioned Marsara. I didn't know that. That's actually a pretty cool, like, com that's pretty cool, like, cameo. Well, not cameo, but, you know, reference. You know, they referenced uh, that one mission we had in Marsara, which is honestly really cool on them. It's pretty awesome. I like that. You guys remember these things? Uh, just absolutely tearing apart the pall of Marines we had on the very, like, first mission. Second mission. It was the second mission.
Okay. One reason I wanted to get Reapers beforehand is because of their uh, high... It's because of their high uh, anti-building damage. While these guys are good at anti... At, like, just moving quickly and stuff, Reapers have really high uh, anti-building damage. Not to mention, with cliff jumping, it means that Reapers can maneuver just as well as most other of my got, as pretty much any other, and can catch up really dang quickly with the rest of my army. And since most of the guys we're going to be facing here, most of the static defense we're going to be finding out here, is just going to be, you know, lots of spine crawlers, it's... We not really need to worry about things too much. Because, again, anti... It turns out having an anti-building weapon is surprisingly decent. Speak of uh, this... What do we even have? Oh, we just have extra range? Okay. Infested bunkers. It'd be cool if infested bunkers had infested marines in them that would shoot back. I guess not, though. Wonder why. Yeah, 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 you're doing fine. Well, we have a big... Yeah, let's just try and burn down some of these structures. Ooh. Taking lots of damn... Oh, God. Okay, yeah, yeah. You are doing fine. Stop complaining. Complain less. Later, nerd! Hey. Yeah, could you deal with that? Okay! We got it. Night ends in 30 seconds. I think we can burn down the rest of this by then. You are fine. Stop being a baby. Okay, 10 seconds. Okay, now we gotta pull back. We're just gonna have a line of these dudes. <laughs> That'll work. Oh my god, already? Jeez. <laughs> I don't care for that notion one bit. <laughs> I love Tychus. He's amazing. <laughs> Ready to raise some hail! Actually, let's keep these up because I want to make a wall out of them. Besides the point, our Reapers can outrange their Marines, as well as our Halians, apparently. So, our little walls here that we've made actually outrange them pretty dang well. Absolutely! Absolutely. See, even the Hellions agree. Absolutely! The Grand Reaper has arrived. Let's keep making a wall here. Just so that we can guarantee we're not going to run into any bigger snags later on in the line, you know? They're fine. Well... Our eco could do with a little bit of helping, but other than that, I think we're pretty much fine. You're fine. Oh, well, actually, no, you're kind of hurt. Okay. Well, 
looks like they, some infested marines were able to get off a couple of shots in our weaker, on our lower health hellions over here, so that's unfortunate. But I mean, what you gonna do, you know?